welterweight division matchup. So an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, cross from his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters right. you've ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Colby Covington maintain status as one of the best welterweights in the world. He is absolutely one of the best welterweights in the world. And a lot of times people mistake the talk and the persona for Colby not being able to be a fighter. Colby Covington is a fantastic fighter, and he will get in your face from the moment the official, or the moment the referee says fight, and the pace, and the cardio, and the work rate that he will push on his opponents is enough to break guys. Guys that are traditionally known as phenomenal cardio fighters like Rafael Dos Anjos melt under Colby Covington. He is a great fighter and a very, very hard worker. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, the law, remember the name, Muhammad! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? And sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, grappler versus grappler, we see a striking affair. But all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch and try to do what got them in the picture. They will try to clinch, right? They may try and strike. But ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. And at their core, they need to be in contact. The only issue is, normally, for both of these guys, when they're in these grappling exchanges, they never face anyone that says those burns are as good in his position as they are tonight to get mirror images of themselves. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. All right, so there's the early takedown for the decorated grappler, exactly what he wanted to do tonight. Exactly what he needed to do if he's going to want to win this fight. You've got to put this guy on his back early, and you've got to put him on his back off. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and bomb combinations. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Covington. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Covington's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, 
Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. All right, 45 seconds now to oh, go. It looks the like round. he's transitioning on bar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna tag on bar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter. And he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal nasty ground upon Oh, nice punch there by Covington. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch from the clinch. Tie. Just misses there with the left. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Nice jab there by Covington. He's a guy who will wow you with pace and pressure, whether he's wrestling or striking. Yeah, I mean, he, it, it's his calling card, right? His calling card is for him to really dictate the pace. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Sound strike on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Covington. Close guard. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Covington. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. to go here in our second round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. to go. All right, that's the end of round number two. 
All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? I, I, I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seen early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than... Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And a nice job. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. All right, so now we're on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Under two minutes in our third and final round. Single collar tie now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big punch lands through the middle. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Oh, now he's in trouble. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. And there it is. He got him. What a fight. Absolutely incredible submission victory for him here late in the fight. And that can be hard after several rounds of fighting. You're fatigued, a lot of clinch work, which is exhausting. The technique sometimes can suffer. It did not suffer for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest for the winner by submission. The law, remember the name, Muhammad.
right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, got the submission victory.